types of database management system softwares and it depends uh, no they are different why because they are storing the data differently or you can say they are using a different underlying data structure okay so here i am representing what are the data structures which they are using what are the data structures they are using what are the database what is the kind of database and what is the dbms called or you can say what is the database management system is called okay so you can say we have different types of data structures like if we have a hierarchical data database or you can say uh, h i e r uh, a r c h i okay i am not good with spelling so if you have hierarchical data structure now for this hierarchical data structure this is called as h d b m s or hierarchical database now the underlying data structures which we use are trees then so we have something called as network data structure network network dbms and this network dbms is also called as ndbms and here we are going to use something called as graph as a underlying data structure then we have a relational database relational database it is also called as rdbms and underlying data structure is tables then we have object oriented database object oriented database oriented database and these are called as o o d b m s and the underlying data structure are objects then we have object relational database object relational database relational databases and these are also called as o r d b m s and underlying data structure are objects as well as tables okay now here in all these different types of databases this hierarchical data structure and the so hierarchical database management system and n d b m s that is network database management system these are now outdated that means we don't use them anymore here in this subject we are going to study something called as relational database management system and this object database management system and object uh, uh, relational database management system these are relatively new as compared to to the relational database management system but they are not widely used in terms of applications because widely used is the relational database management system it is very easy to understand very easy to grasp as well as you can easily uh, implement it okay so in this case uh, there is something called as models in the database that means a database can be divided into three types of models number one is uh, okay let me write it up it is models in database management system so you can study from the book uh, you can take either korth let me tell you the books either you can take korth or you can take navathe both the books are standard books for this subject Uh, dbms introduction to database management system and both the books are standard books for this subject you can follow any one of these books both of them are really good so i'll prefer that if you will be having both the books then it will be better okay so number one is models in the database so there are the database can be divided into three models number one is the high level model high level model or it is also cons called as conceptual model conceptual model then we have something called as the representational or implementational model representational or implementational model implementational model or you can say it is the underlying layer that is represent representation layer or implementational layer and the third one is called as the logical level or physical data model the logical level the logical level or physical data model physical data model okay so they deals with uh, no when i'm saying th we have these models that means we i'm telling you that uh, in what uh, things these uh, levels are uh, you know uh, working on for example when we have high level or conceptual model that means in this model we generally discuss about the er model or you can say er diagrams right or you can say entity relational diagrams 
when we say representational or implementational model that means we are mostly going to discuss about the relations and when we are saying that we are going to discuss about the logical level or the physical level that means we are going to discuss about how or what is the actual physical storage of that data what is the actual physical storage of the data or you can say actually how the database is stored in the memory okay or you can say what is the underlying data structure which we are using now i'm not going to discuss about all these three models right now in complete detail i'm just giving you the terminologies here just just a slight introduction to the terminologies because as we go on with the subject we are going to discuss about these terminologies in complete depth in the end again i'm going to give you complete introduction or you can say complete brief about what we studied in the entire subject because uh, we are going to start with the er model then we'll slowly make a transition to the relations and relational model relational algebra and then we'll make a slowly make a transition toward the physical model after studying all these models in the complete details so you can or you can roughly you can say the complete subject is divided into these three specific models after studying all the subject with the complete details we'll come back to this specific topic and then we'll try to explain them one by one because i believe that after studying them in detail it will be very easy for you to you know remember or grasp what these models actually are because right now uh, i'm i do, i want to uh, i want you to start with the as minimum terminologies as possible because that is going to create very less you know burden on your headache because if i'm going to just over uh, give you a lot of information right now then this is going to give you you know it will be very difficult for you to cover thorough throughout the subject with that and it will be kind of giving you headaches for remembering the terminologies so i want to start with the very minimum terminologies or details uh, with you so that thoroughly we'll build up the concept and thoroughly slowly we'll, we are going to uh, cover everything in detail okay